All right, I sold a decent amount of shares of one of the stocks I hold. I wanna talk about what stock it was that I sold, why I sold it, what I'm doing with that money. We'll talk about all the specifics of what stock it was, what price I bought it at, and what price I sold it at, and how much of my position I sold. But first, before we get into all that, if you're new here, I'm Austin, I'm a co at cloudmusictweet.com, and of course, I'm a stock market investor. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, become one of those 2,600 or so people. I don't know exactly where we'll be at by the time I post this video, but if you're not one of those people, go ahead and do that. Click that like button for me, okay? The stock that I sold was Shopify, okay? This is a stock that I was buying in 2022, all the way back in October of 2022. So my first purchase order was October 7th, then I had another one on October 7th, larger block of shares on October 10th, and then an even larger block of shares on October 14th. My cost per share for each one of those lots was 2720, 2720, 2611, 2607, and then 2629. Those were all the shares I ever bought a Shopify. It was all condensed into a one week span. I believe Shopify was very much undervalued and I had to act quick or else I wasn't gonna get the amount of shares I wanted and the stock started to move up very quickly. It moved up fast enough that within just a little while after, I was already up 100% on my shares and I didn't like the valuation anymore. I liked it around the $26 range. I liked it under 30. And then once it moved above 30, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to chill. Maybe we'll get another drop. And if we do, I'll add shares. If we don't, I'm okay with the amount of shares I bought within that one week span. I was very aggressive. The most aggressive that I've been with a position that I was building in recent memory, stock ran up in a major way. I've made over 200% on the shares, which is a very respectable gain. I'm happy with it, but it's not a position that's so large that it's affecting my net worth in a large way. I know I'm not going to buy more shares. I don't love the valuation of the company. It's at $80 right now. It's at a 15 price to sales. The PE is undeterminable because they've been unprofitable for the last year, but the forward PE is 75. That forward PE is pretty dang high. It's not crazy for a hyper growth company like Shopify, but it is definitely overvalued. Does that mean the stock can't go higher? No, of course the stock can go higher. I could see Shopify being $100 a share pretty soon. I could also see Shopify being $60 a share pretty soon. So anyway, I wasn't able to build Shopify into a massive position. I decided to take my principal out of the stock. So I sold about a third of the stock. My position tripled up over a 200% gain. I took a third of my shares off the table. I sold out of a third of my position, meaning I took out the exact amount of money that I put in or you know, give or take a little bit here or there. But in general, I just took my principal out of the stock. Now I'm just gonna let the profit ride for a very long time. I've done a similar thing with quite a few stocks over the years. Another stock I did this with was Tesla. I'm still holding the bulk of my Tesla shares. The stock has been on a crazy run. The last time I bought a Tesla share was in March of 2020. It's been a very long time, almost four years now that I haven't done anything with Tesla stock, except I took my principal out of the stock sometime in 2021 or maybe early 2022. My average cost per share on Tesla is below $30. I'm not looking to pick up any more Tesla shares. I'm also not looking to get out of Tesla anytime soon. I'm probably just gonna let that profit run for many, many more years in the future. It's already been running for four years. I'm probably gonna do the exact same thing with Shopify. These are not absolutely insanely massive positions for me. I know some people put like, you know, 50% of their portfolio in Tesla. I'm not that kind of guy. I did not do that. I didn't put 50% of my portfolio in Shopify. These are gonna move my portfolio you know, a little bit up and down on a daily basis, but they're not make or break stock for me. So what did I do with the proceeds from selling Shopify? Number one, I bought some PayPal shares. I bought a decent amount of PayPal shares. The way I was thinking about this is one, PayPal is one of the more attractive turnaround plays that I see in the market right now. Shopify in 2022, in October specifically, was one of the more attractive turnaround plays that I could find at the end of 2022. I'm taking that turnaround money and I'm putting it into this new turnaround money in PayPal in 2024. The second stock I bought was a tiny bit of Disney shares. Also a turnaround play I'm interested in, way smaller portion of my portfolio than Shopify, way smaller portion of my portfolio than PayPal. It's really just a small position. I believe in Bob Iger to turn the ship around and get it pointed back in the right direction. I think I'm gonna get a nice 40 to 60% gain on my shares over the next 18 months or so with Disney. Not gonna be a crazy banger, 100%, 200%, 300% mover in my opinion, but I'll collect a little bit of dividend money along the way. It'll be a nice 
slow grower, boring stock that I can get, like I said, somewhere around 40 and 60% if all goes well. Those are both turnaround plays that have been an absolutely vicious down cycle lately that are very quality companies with very respectable growth, impressive net income numbers, impressive net income growth numbers, and new management teams that are gonna unlock new growth vectors for those two legacy businesses. And then the third thing I did was, I'm just keeping some of that cash on the sideline for now for some potential opportunities that I think might present themselves inside of Q1 of 2024. I want a decent amount of cash ready to go in the event that we get a drop in Q1. There's a couple of reasons why I believe we're gonna have a drop in Q1. A lot of videos on my channel have talked about it, but one, we normally have a weak Q1 in an election year. Number two, we had a pretty dang strong end of the year in 2023, and I think we might just see a little bit of profit taking in Q1. On top of the fact that inflation seems like it's pretty dang sticky, the Fed might have to be higher for long Longer. And if we get any negative news around the Fed saying they're not cutting for X amount of months from now, we could see some pretty decent pain in stocks, not to mention if we get unemployment numbers moving up in any kind of way in Q1. So selling those Shopify shares was the first sell that I made in 2024. I don't know how many more we'll have. If I make any major sells, I'll update you here on the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you being here in a major way. Let me know if you're selling any stocks buying any stocks below. One of my favorite parts of posting here on YouTube is checking out those comments. I'd love to see what you're buying, what you're selling, have some conversation going on down there. I appreciate you being here in a major way. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.